creation is a very interesting process. Um, I figure out that I love to go into the unknown. Um, I, I very of, I often quote this beautiful sentence from David Bowie, <clears throat> which I'm a huge fan of his freedom, and he would try anything or do anything. At the end of the day, <clears throat> you want to be a free person, not do because the market says you have to do it, or not do because people would, you would think that you would be liked or loved or admired for. You have to take risk, but it's risk with yourself. And so <clears throat> David Bowie says, when you are in the water and you touch the ground and suddenly your feet leave the ground and I love that moment because you think, oh, I'm floating. <laughs> but you have to experience, so you have to, in French we say sortir de sa zone de confort, which is a very interesting, you have to put yourself in a situation where you don't understand everything. So you have to know that when I am uh, drawing and writing, I never know the end of the story. And sometimes I really have the feeling that it's the story who chooses me, then the opposite. And I have the impression that it's the characters who have the huge kindness to come to my hands and to my paper. I know it's a bit weird, but you know, I just love the mysteries of life and that we don't understand everything. You can't put everything in a box. It's just not possible. Sorry guys, there's so much things out of the box and you need to experience this. So <clears throat> when you um, start working, it's kind of um, a process that it flows. Also because I read a lot, also because I'm a very big listener and a very big I don't know how you say that, observer. I, I, I watch people and I watch attitudes and I watch animals and plants. I always love to try and go beyond what's the appearance. You know, it's this concept of you see the sea, you take a glass, <clears throat> you think the sea is blue, and then you take it out and it's not blue. You know, it's the reflection of the mm -hmm. sky. <clears throat> I find that very interesting to keep on your toes and especially to not to get bored. So. When I am doing those topics, um, they are sometimes deep. I have huge respect for children and huge uh, trust in the capacity of sorting things out. I find that <clears throat> a lot of adults project their own fear into the children. Um, I find that libraries are so important to have a, lo a large ra range of books and it's fine if they pick up something that you don't like or you don't think and you can at least have the, the respect to know why or how and to try and figure out why is my child or a child interested in it without any judgment. I read very, very powerful um, literature, very, very powerful books. My mother is Swedish, knew that books are as important as food for children. I'm a huge um, <clears throat> believer of stories. To come back to those topics of the stories, well, I read really deep, strong, powerful um, stories and I really needed as a child because I was lonely because of my handicap. Didn't know that I was lonely, but figure out that I was lonely. So you have to fill your head with people with paper friends, so I had a lot of that and read amazing stories like Secret Garden or Brother Lionheart or uh, The Little Match Girl. Um, so those books kind of, you know, you have emotions and I find it teach children, teach children. I'm not here to teach anything. I'm just sharing experience, just showing roles that you can take um, to at least figure out the empathy for the others. I think this is strongly needed in the world.